another good, satisfying game that also went down basically to the wire. This is what we want from these playoffs. None of this blowout mess and none of this nonsense, especially the game being earlier now, so you know you can sort of still get some good sleep. But Wolves and Dallas. I was going to say Dolphins for some reason. I had a different kind of D in my mind. Anyway, um, look, I like this, this game to me was sort of like how I sort of thought it might be, where it's the big man and boards and all that other stuff. Um, I was like, to me, I was like, and also, I, I was like, I do think these teams are similar in a lot of ways, but. Basically, I said, I was like, okay, cool. You're going to get Luka. And then I was like, if Kyrie joins, okay. You didn't get a good game really out of Ant. I was like, even though, like, those points, he like, he did score, like, a, little, a bit. And he came a little bit more in the fourth. But I was like, he, I felt like he, he was really tired by the end of the game. He, I felt like he used a lot of the energy on defense. It's just that I was like, and it's different in sort of what he sort of. The matchup of Kyrie is different than Jamal Murray because I was like, Kyrie will tire you out in a way different way than Jamal Murray. Um, but also, like, Cat wasn't there for you to, to, to put the back on now. The thing now they was close. I mean, granted, Dallas was shot horribly horribly from the three-point line so that sort of you know balance i like that sort of gave them a little bit more room to uh be alive than they probably should have um and also too you know you'll get that moments in where dallas missing shots as much um but i, I was like but it was it's was really a tell of two halves and you know for for east team kind of like like, for instance, Dallas with Kyrie, he came out on fire, ready to go. He was he was like, nah, y'all come on my back. And he basically held it down. And then in the second half, it was Luka's turn where Luka was like, don't worry, I got this. I'm going to just keep hitting these shots. Um, I was like, they got really great uh, out of Gafford and Lively. They was active. They was around the rim. Um, I was like, they're, the points, I was like, the points collectively is beating the points of the, the Tim Wood big man and them being on the, around the boards and stuff like that. And that's, to me, where this whole series is sort of going to lie. Kind of like, like, Luka can have a bad game and still get his points. Kyrie can have a bad game and still get his points. Uh, I mean, um, Ant can still sort of really have a bad game, and his points will still be there. There, I was like, you sort of know what you're getting out of. Now, granted, Luca having a bad game and Kyrie having a bad game, and I was like, I was like, even though he he tends to do with his defense, I was like, you just felt like I was like, no, but Daniel was there and he showed up. Uh, whereas like PJ wasn't there in the same sense, but he was battling with Carl Anthony Towns. And I don't look. I was like, look, he might have, he might be more like, like thicker, stout, whatever you want to say. But Carl, like, you, you got like, like seven inches on that guy. And don't get me wrong, Carl, Carl hit some timely shots going on the stretch of the fourth quarter. But and I was like, he was seeing, he was, he was being aggressive. But sometimes you gotta. But sometimes you got to. Y'all gotta take advantage and get easy buckets when you got to. When it's like pretty much we're all gonna stop Anthony, gonna build a wall against him and get the ball out of his hands. That you sort of gotta take advantage of the shots. I was like, you're not gonna get that Rudy Gobert. He's not the same type of offensive talent that Carl is. In. Carl is. And also too that I was like I, I think the read of Minnesota was able to. Uh, have the lead and sustain the lead, especially in that second half. Is like the defense came alive, but also I thought they were doing what Dallas was doing in the beginning, where they was getting their big man easy buckets, easy lobs, and I thought they were trying, they were doing that a bit more in the second half. 
I was like, they didn't do it as much. Kind of was like Dallas was a lot prepared for it. Uh, kind of was like even Luca was over here not denying their lobs. Um, but I was like, first of all, also they play my boy uh, Hardy out here. Uh, I like, I ain't know he, I ain't, I ain't know he gonna get to run because he really didn't in the last series. But I, I was like, but I was like, I guess they would. That I was like, just give more guard play. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, switch it up on 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 all of them. Uh, hell, we might. I was like, I, don't, I mean, we're not. But I was gonna say we might see a more exciting over here. We just want to punk Carl uh, out of some plays. Um, yeah, I was like, I, I was like, to me, unlike the Indiana, I don't think you could say Minnesota sort of game away, but I don't think since they were playing well that they really did. Uh, I thought Dallas really took the game. I think that cause they wasn't on fire either. And I was like, they, the teams, like, I feel like when you would have gave this five more minutes, it would have went crazy. Cause it, I feel like they started to heat up just after the game was ending. Uh, it felt like a lot of it felt like everybody was a little bit tired here. Uh, you know, we seen Ant being gas. I was like, Luca on some of his shots seemed like it was just like, oh, thank God, it's done, it's over with. Um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, I was like, and they did, and they sort of also let. I'm not gonna lie, they let the. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a couple calls. I was like, like it was close, but I thought Carl did get the basket. It says the basket interference. Um, I was like, I didn't think that Conley pushed uh, Hardaway in the back. I I thought that was over exaggerated, um, but for the most part, I think they let them play. Uh, there wasn't anything like like shocking or like come on man here. Um, but yeah, I just think that outside of McDaniel's, I was like Carl, and and also shout out to Kyle uh, Slow Mo. For playing a way better game than I was like. Also, I laughed because he slipped and fell, and even his falling was in slow motion. Um, but having a better game, uh, I I was like, which I was like, you know, uh, Draymond was talking about how uh, he would have a better game like this matches up better with him, and I was like, I didn't I I didn't honestly know how much he would necessarily play just kind of how he didn't play in last series. But I can see how he would perform better with Dallas matchup than Denver, just because I was like, what he does well, uh, you know, I was like, is that there's outside of uh, airplane mode, Derrick Jones, I was like, none of them are really like crazy athletic. They're not going to put their best defenders on him. So he's a good guy to sort of like, <clears throat> like if he if he's playing right, he can give you buckets and he can playmate effectively. And I'm like, with that second unit, when you don't have Conley there, I was like, it it should breathe everybody easier. Uh, Nas Reed gave him really good minutes off the bench. Um, I think they're going to have to do more mismatch with him just because I was like, PJ missed a lot of shot bits that he normally makes. So I'm like, I'm like, and then all of Dallas did really, to be honest, they missed a lot of shots that they said that they should make. And I was like, I'm like Minnesota. Minnesota did too. I was like, I, I won't even like a lot of them did rattle out in and out. Um, <clears throat> so I will say, I will say that this game is probably going to be how it is. Considering I was like, even though Dallas was putrid from three, I was like Minnesota missed a lot of shots that rattle in and out. Um, I think Ant will be a lot better going uh, to the next game, but I think they, but to me, they just got so many more wing defenders to stop Ant that. They're not. I, I was like, McDaniel's can score, but he should be your complimentary scorer. Uh, you know, like the way, like yes, PJ is your scorer, but you don't want to rely on him to be your second guy necessarily because you don't know when it's like games like this. But you had Kyrie and Luca, Bill. I was like, with that com combined together to get a win. So it's like that's that's what. Minnesota need they need to I think really get Edwards and Cat going in the next game. Uh, I think Dallas I think Dallas is going to be fine whether they won or lost this game just because I think they I think their stuff is down packed. It's just about them making shots. Where it's like Minnesota can sometimes get stagnant and it's a lot more than missing shots. Sometimes it's just like 
you're somehow they're settling or they're not seeing the right of uh, advantages in some in situations like getting Carl closer to the block on some lower people and it's like you could shoot over people closer to the basket you ain't always got to take threes or be at three kind of like you shooting three I'm like cool whatever go ahead take that shot good job if you make it if not I also won and also too it just leaves Rudy down there in the paint against everybody else and it's like okay yeah how much do you expect him to constantly do when it's by himself and stuff and now granted Dallas really only got like one big man but everybody crashing the board kind of like Luca's a good rebounder and all you know as well too like and I mean, Daniels is, is guarding Luca, so he had a good first half and he waned in the second half and I think that has something to do with it but like I said I was like to me, I was like, McDaniels is not going to affect Luka in the same way that it was like on Jamal Murray. I was like, you got 6'10 versus 6'8, and you got like probably like, say, 200 pounds versus like 230, 240. It's not, I was like, it's not the same type of uh, uh, situation. And you would think, and it's like, yes, McDaniel can stick with him because he's a lot more athletic, but the, but, Luke is so methodical in how he gets to his, his shot and when he does stuff that it don't matter. You know what he's about to do. You know he's about to do step back three and it doesn't matter. Like when Ant was on him, he did a step back three and made the shot. It didn't matter. Um, yeah, I was like, I still think that this game, this series is still going to be about the same. Um, I was like, I, I was like, I just think it all depends on, especially I guess after this game, uh, Three point shooting is included into that now. Just I was like, which I sort of thought I was like, which is you know you looked at see my last video. I said three point shooting. Uh, I was like the supporting cast, uh, rebounding, and uh, but the big man. I think the big men's were most important of Carl Reed and Gobert versus uh, Gafford and uh, Lively and PJ and. Dallas got the upper hand in this one, pretty much. Um, but yeah, no, good game. I was like, if the series is whole, all like this, I'm totally down with it. Uh, unlike the Indiana Celtics series, where it's like, I there wasn't anybody that I was like, I thought could have been really blamed. Like, I didn't think it was a bad game necessarily by any particular one. I was like, and even here, it it wasn't it was it wasn't bad. It was just kind of like, okay, Kyrie didn't do much in the second half. Luca didn't do nothing in the first half. Like so what but it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad game. It was just kinda it was just not up to their top performance more so. But anyway, we'll see how the next game going Friday. Uh I'm expecting uh and to come out a little bit more better. I was like I feel like Kyrie took that a little personal, if you get what I'm saying. And he did. He he said as much at the, at, at, after the game. But anyway, till then I'm out.